stage. Yes, okay. Good morning, Sophie. Uh, please, uh, you are live. Bonjour. We are live already. So, uh, okay. uh, Bonjour à tous et toutes. just just a second. Just we will we'll just wait for a few more minutes before we uh, start because there are one or two people still missing who have signed up. So, if you just uh, can remain ready, thank you. It's been a busy day, I guess. Incredible. Okay, the academic uh, five minutes are over, so uh, let's get started. And uh, I hand over to Alionor for some housekeeping first. Yes, so let's start with the housekeeping part. So I'm going to show you. So welcome, everyone. So welcome, uh, Charlotte, Eric, Sardar, Frédéric, Abdel. Welcome here. So I will uh, quickly show you how uh, Livestorm works. So on the, on the um, right, and on the top, you have a small arrow. If you click on the arrow, you can actually see that uh, there is a chat section. Here, here, this, this is actually used for you to give us some comments or to, uh, to say hello or to, to, to speak with us. Then after, uh, you have the questions tab. Here is uh, where actually you can ask us questions. In the end of the of the webinar, we can uh, then uh, see all your questions here, and we will be glad to to answer them. Then, uh, at, the, at the far end of the of the of the tabs, you have the participants tab. This is where you can see all the participants who are here today with us. So, yeah, that's. Uh, very easy. Then, if you want to go back to uh, the main screen, you just have to uh, you just have to click on the small arrow again, and then you only have the screen. So how this is how it works. So now I am giving the word to my colleagues. And I think it's uh, Sophie who is uh, going to welcome the audience. Uh, over to you, Sophie. Welcome to everyone. We are uh, very happy to uh, be here together with BASI. We have uh, relaunched this partnership with BASI and for us it's very important. Uh, B-Commerce was uh, created in 2005 and has since 2008 were the headquarters in the south of Belgium in Limburg in Hasselt and as the association become more Belgian and we are serving all Belgian e-commerceans, the move to Brussels was for us a very logic one. And since 2017, we are in the capital of uh, Belgium in Brussels and it was very logic for us to see who else uh, is sharing with us this concern to promote entrepreneurship, to promote technology, to promote progress in society. And BC was an, uh, is and is a very important partner in these uh, mission and vision and these endeavors. So um, we have launched this in um, December 2019, this partnership, and we are working together on several levels, also on the awards of which the deliberation took place Monday, and it, which is basically patron of the prize on sustainability. This time we are uh, hosting together a webinar where BC will introduce us a new um, concept of uh, going uh, abroad with your business, with your e-commerce, so um, again, we are very happy to be in this story together, and I'm looking forward to um, to, the, to the webinar and to, um, being able to share together knowledge to our community. Thank you very much. So, Eric, please take the floor and go ahead. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Sophie. Uh, we also have your colleague, Mary, who is uh, uh, doing for e-commerce uh, the communications. And thank you very much for uh, working with us on, on, on this uh, webinar. We are, of course, also very pleased about uh, this, this cooperation. Um, my name is Eric, Eric Timmermans. I'm uh, quite new at uh, BC, at the Chamber of Commerce, uh, responsible for the international development. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce, of course, is a traditional Role. We exist since more than 200 years uh, with uh, activities around defending the interests of businesses in general in Brussels, but also trying to do lots of uh, support for businesses in uh, getting access to information, getting access to certain ways of doing business, and of course also uh, networking. Now, I don't have to uh, draw you a picture about the fact that uh, digitalization has become extremely important, certainly not in the area for people uh, who are in uh, web shops, uh, digitalization has become more and more important. Also internationally, that's, that's even more accelerated, of course, uh, due to the COVID crisis. Um, so another reason why we're very pleased to have this uh, meeting today uh, together with uh, uh, e-commerce, uh, to introduce you to a platform which is called Connect. And uh, that's why we will uh, ask uh, Carolina later to uh, give you an overview of, of Connect. Connect is an initiative, um, a private initiative, but uh, it's very much powered and steered by the chambers of commerce all over the world. Basie was one of the founding members, if I can say so, one of the first adopters of this uh, um, panel, of this uh, platform, sorry. Um, but the idea is to create a trusted exchange of connecting matchmaking, because Matchmaking is one thing, but you also need trust, and that's what uh, Caroline is going to explain. Due to the fact that it's uh, steered by chambers of commerce all over the world, you will have the possibility to create opportunities, to find opportunities in business, to find new sources of business, to find new uh, clients all over the world, but not just by posting something on some weird uh, whatever, but here again in a trusted environment, which is very much linked or similar to the whole role of e-commerce as well. It's to create a certification to create trust. So that's where I think okay. we really have a very interesting uh, common offer. So um, I'm talking too much already. I'm sorry for that. Uh, please don't hesitate to get back to us at the uh, Chamber of Commerce if you want more information about what we are doing. Um, before I hand over to Carolina, one more thing. Please do ask questions. So Carolina will make something like 15, 20 minutes of presentation. But the purpose of this is to get something really interactive. Uh, ask your questions and we will finish definitely with 15 minutes of q and We try to answer all your questions. So thank you very much. And uh, handing over to Carolina for her presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Hello, everyone. My name is Carolina, and uh, I'm basically working with Connect as a communities developer. So Eric already introduced Connect, so I'm not going to go into details more because uh, he mentioned the main uh, bits. So I'm just going to share my screen and show how it all looks like in uh, practice. Uh, so uh, basically, once you have your credentials and you get your credentials, either asking Eric to send you an invitation or you just uh, go to Bessie's website and there is a, a there is a link which you can click and sign up. So it's connects.tiao.world. And uh, once you log in, before you start doing anything, uh, we highly recommend to edit your profile and your company's profile because the more details, the more information you provide about the company, including the you know, description, uh, sectors, uh, and all the other uh, possible information about um, uh, your company, it's more likely that others will find you and uh, uh, will try to do the business with you. As uh, uh, Eric mentioned, uh, platform is meant for chambers of commerce and their members to use so basically before anyone gets into the platform they are they have to be confirmed by the chamber of commerce at the moment we have 40 chambers live uh, the, so basically uh, we have a UK global community which has local and bilateral British chambers. We have AmChams, 
chamber in Singapore, Belgian chambers, local and bilaterals, uh, also Colombia, Afghanistan, and the Netherlands. So you can see that ev every uh, chamber of commerce and uh, their, um, we call it moderator, so basically the person who you can contact via the platform and ask for any information you want. Uh, the, lang uh, the platform is available in four languages, so it's English, Spanish, French, and German. You can always choose uh, the language that is uh, the easy, most suitable for you. Um, so once you edited your profile, got familiarized with the networks, uh, you can basically then you can start doing some stuff on the platform. Uh, you can, for example, you can browse the opportunities. There are three types of opportunities sell, buy, or connect. Uh, at the moment, uh, the platform has, sorry, uh, at the moment platform has uh, 1,256 active opportunities. Active, I mean that um, uh, companies created uh, some sort of, a, you know, they are looking for something. So they activated their opportunity and uh, it's it hasn't expired or anything. And you can still contact those people and uh, do business with them. At the moment, there are f uh, 23,000 companies that you can reach as well. So uh, again, uh, if we go back to browsing the opportunities, you can uh, narrow down the 1,000 uh, opportunities search to uh, by you know, choosing the type of the opportunities you want or the location or sector. At the moment, it's a, a quite popular uh, keyword is COVID. So if I type COVID, I get 89 different opportunities uh, related to COVID. It could be that someone is looking for new uh, suppliers, uh, new distributors, or uh, mm, where to buy masks and stuff like that. As you can see, the, the opportunities are written in different languages, not only in English. So for example, if I click on this one, it's in Spanish. It's not a problem because I can translate this um, opportunity into English because I set up my um, profile in English and I can read the message and I can contact the person who created the opportunity directly. I can contact the person in English and they, uh, in this case, Karina, will be able to um, translate it into Spanish and respond to me. So there is no language barrier in, uh, in, in the platform. Uh, beside, if you don't find any opportunity already written, you can always create your own. So, for example, uh, you are uh, interested to buy some new products, so you can always uh, choose the opportunity type buy. We type looking for uh, XYZ product from this country or from this uh, uh, company. And then in the description, you write a little bit more specifically about what you are looking for. You can put a validation date or a picture if you have one and then press publish. Once you publish the opportunity, it appears here. So everyone, again, those 23,000 companies that we have all on the platform, they will be able to log in and see your opportunity, click on it and contact you directly. Besides of creating and browsing the opportunities, you can browse companies as well. So, for example, uh, again, the browsing system, you can narrow down the search uh, by the keywords, location or the sector. So, for example, uh, if you are the company who is looking for um, let's say ventilator for your lungs, again, following the same example of uh, Corona crisis. So if I type ventilator in sector, I can uh, find 375 uh, results. So the companies inside the platform that are operating in the sector of manufacture of machinery and equipment. Again, I can click on the company's name read about it and contact the person 
uh, who set up the profile. Here you can see company's name, the country they are from, and the Chamber of Commerce they belong to. So if you don't want to contact the company directly, you can always um, contact the Chamber of Commerce uh, moderator who invited that company. So in this specific case, it would be Alana from Bulgaria. If 375 results is not enough for you, Oh, okay. I'm sorry that uh, I just now saw your message about the zooming in. So I, I hope this is better now. Um, so yeah, so if 375 results is not enough, then you can always uh, use the external database that we have integrated into Connect. At the moment, we have two of them. So one is Compass. Uh, most of you might be familiar with it. Uh, with it. So basically, uh, Compass generates almost 200,000 results. You can see company's name, uh, the city they are from, and the country they are from. You can always send a message to this company, uh, and they will receive this message in their inbox. So basically, the email address they provided to Compass. Unfortunately, due to GDPR, cannot show the email address that they provide. Uh, and again, besides Compass, we have Open Corporates. Open Corporates has a huge database, so it, it takes a little bit longer for them to generate um, results on what I was looking for. So in machinery and equipment sector, they find 51,000 companies. You can, again, click on any of them, read about them, visit the websites. And if you would like to contact the specific company, you just click on request an intro, you send an email to us, and then uh, we provide the company's details and contact details. Um, so this is the opportunities and companies. Sometimes com uh, people are looking for a specific users or users in specific position. So you can browse that as well. And if you click on, well, if for example, I'm looking for CEOs, so you can find all the CEOs that give their consent to be contacted directly through Connects. Um, so this is how the platform looks at the moment. Next month, we are launching um, one more feature that I really would like to show you. Um, so basically, in we are changing all the interface. And in uh, January 2021, we will have the new interface for, uh, for the platform. And instead of having three uh, search bars, you will have one where you put the keyword and then you get all the opportunities related to it members, communities, and users. This is what I'm showing you is a mock-up. So um, it's just, you know, the how it's going to look like in January. However, we start with the beta, we, we, we are launching a new feature, which is called communities next month. And it's going to be a beta version. And everybody will be able to access. Basically, you will have access if you are um, uh, and already on connects. So basically, uh, there will be um, communities. Communities, it's uh, certain certain um, groups, closed groups, where people can share different um, materials and uh, doc documents and uh, share maybe experiences. It really depends on the. Um, uh, community you want to belong in and uh, so for example here we have a community of a chamber of commerce where they write before you become a member of that community you can see uh, you can read what this community is about so entry conditions uh, who is the manager and all the details and then you can request to get in once you get in uh, once you're request is approved you can uh, access the news feed user list uh, calendar and events so basically you can see everything what users of this community are sharing so it could be videos it could be live streams uh, uh, 
of the meetings. It could be different type of documents and any other step stuff that you uh, might find useful. Um, so besides the newsfeed, you will be able to access the user list where you, every person you can contact either via the message or video call. And then um, we also later in the, there is a plan to have a calendar in events with doing uh, different webinars inside the platform. So basically, you will be sure that everybody who is joining is trustworthy. So this is my quick well, not so quick, but but the presentation I wanted to share with you. And uh, uh, thank you for um, um, for listening. And if you have any questions, I'm I would be very happy to answer those. Thank you very much, uh, Carolina, for for your uh, very clear presentation. Uh, I would indeed like to add that uh, this is a project and a platform that is on the constant. Uh, uh, evolution and growth and development. Um, scale will and is important, uh, but every day almost there are additional chambers of commerce uh, joining the platform, which will uh, make it even more relevant and, and, and broader and uh, more efficient in terms of finding uh, solutions and opportunities. So um, that's very important. The second one, which is very important, is indeed this. Uh, evolution in terms of communities. Um, it's a very straightforward and cheap way of interacting and again linking it to the current uh, days of uh, working from home as we are, most of us are doing. Um, it can really be an additional tool to uh, interact with people like-minded people. E-commerce could have perfectly its own community on, on, uh, uh, on Connect. It could also have ways of, of interacting. So that's a little bit of additional comments uh, to Carolina's um, part. Now I'm looking at the chat and also at the questions, maybe start with, uh, okay, Frederick, you asked a question uh, also uh, that you put on the chat. So it says that if you're a member of a participating Chamber of Commerce, you might be eligible for a special plan, but we can only choose either the 90 day free one or the 100 euro yearly one below. Carolina, you would like to make some comments on that? Yes. So basically, uh, this is uh, if you are trying to sign up yourself. If you are the member of Chamber of Commerce, you basically contact your chamber and you ask for the invitation. Once you uh, ask for the invitation, they will send it inside. Moderator is sending it via the platform. And then you just accept the link, the invitation link that you get. And once you accept it, you get one year um, to use the platform. So uh, if you are, uh, are you Bessie member? So for Bessie member, you just ask Eric to, to, to send you an invitation and then you are good to go. This is uh, because this is what I see. I guess it's from the sign up uh, page. You get this information. That's why uh, we encourage to contact your Chamber of Commerce first. We try really to keep it as uh, accessible as possible. Uh, and that's why we want to include it in the uh, BC membership uh, pack. Uh, so for all our members, it's fully, completely free uh, service. And BC membership is really not very uh, expensive. Now, for people who don't want to, for whatever reason, uh, become a member, they can perfectly use, indeed, uh, uh, separate uh, uh, signing up. And that can also be done through us, by the way. Huh? That should also be done through us. Uh, and then you pay. 100 euros even with a first free period just as a try out which is now 90 days but that will become one month i believe uh, Caroline. Yes. yes 90 days is, is ending at the end of this month so it will be as from november uh one free month so uh to summarize it's uh, either free if you're a member of uh, basi if you are not or you prefer not to be a member of basi then you can sign up uh through us uh, for a paid plan for 100 euros a year, uh, knowing that you will have um, one month for free to try it out, or three months if you do, do it today, I believe. True, true. I can see that they are already requesting your email address, Eric. So, if you okay, share. Okay, that's good news. I will, I will immediately answer with uh, on the chat. So that's good. Thank you. Um, otherwise, we have uh, well, nice comments from uh, Eric, who uh, links to his profile, which is. 
well done, uh, Eric. It uh, creates traffic. Uh, that's good. Um, other questions uh, besides the one from Frederick? Uh, is there any? On Mary, on behalf of uh, B Commerce, any specific uh, questions that you may have or you see from behalf of the community? Um, I I don't I, I jump on you, so if you don't uh, see any questions, don't worry. But uh, uh, no, um, I think um, Sophie has uh, trouble with the connection. Can we get her back on a live, maybe? Um, I don't know if Eleonore is still here. <laughs> uh that's a good one let's have a look at participants yes eleanor is still there see team b base is there so eleanor if you can maybe try to get uh, uh, oh there is sophie okay wonderful sure. Qui permet de, de connecter et d'aller au-delà de nos propres marchés Et donc, ce magnifique sont finalement tous les membres de chaque chambre de commerce. Ah, um, oh, it's English. So, all the members of the uh, chambers of commerce are uh, connected. I think it's a wonderful tool. And um, and so, BASI is offering it free to its members. So, maybe we have to check what we can do for our own members. Because I understand this is a perfectly uh, fitting for e-commerce purposes because it's everything digital, everything online. And do we know how many ch uh, chambers of commerce are now connected? It's 40. 40. And they're all in Europe or they are... Um... No, it's, uh, it's, uh, there is um, Colombia. So we have uh, some chambers in Colombia. It's coming Caribbeans. Then we have Canada. Singapore. Uh, Singapore. Um, uh, two chambers in Africa. And then the rest is in Europe. Do you know what it... would be yeah, no, it would be good to to put together with our export uh, facts and figures, and we, there's a list of uh, of the top ten what we are exporting, and those uh, chambers of commerce of those countries should definitely be involved so that we can um, intensify um, our uh, existing exports and translate it in cross border e commerce, eh? not only physical products but exactly yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Beautiful. Absolutely, and then uh, as I said, also it's uh, it's really trying to uh, to grow and develop this because it's it's only exists since well one two years, uh, so it takes a little bit of time, and, and um, scale will be key in order to be really uh, very successful. But what I've seen, I'm only there since two months and a half, but I've seen it growing every day. And a lot of people are talking about it, lots of chambers of commerce, also bilateral chambers of commerce are talking about it. So I think we are in a sort of a virtuous circle. And then once it's like LinkedIn and all these uh, social media, I don't have to tell you, once you reach certain scale, everybody will want to be there. And then it will automatically also improve the quality or the, it's not the quality, but the chances of having success when you post uh, opportunities. Uh, I think it's not only also for exports, it's definitely also for imports, uh, because uh, I, I, may, I don't know to what extent you agree with me, Sophie, but uh, due to COVID, uh, there's a lack of uh, foreign trade uh, possibilities, conventions, uh, trade fairs. In order to source new products from new companies, you have to find also new ways. And this can be a good way also to source uh, uh, new um new suppliers uh, for your e-commerce that's what i believe yeah and yeah and uh, actually what i um love so much about this uh, platform it goes back to the basics of doing business exactly. and that is a network and, con and knowing people and it starts with everything and this is something what we in belgium are not doing enough developing a personal network mm -hmm. Um, personal network in business it's everything is business a professional network a business network and that's actually what the platform provides um to do a, a digital it's a digitalization of networking mm -hmm. and it's the core of, of any business is uh, because every business starts with trust exactly. and starts with um, do i know this person 
do I know this person? Do I know this business? The fact that the business is affiliated with the Chamber of Commerce increases the level of trust and increases your opportunities and your chance of um, having an open mindset and, and exploring different paths. So I think it's a wonderful tool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, thank you. Positive comments, thank you. I just wanted to mention with the uh, imports and exports that uh, since we have all Belgian chambers uh, and uh, we actually very recently had a success story that the chamber that the member of Flemish Chamber of Commerce managed to do the business with CCI Polony Chamber of Commerce, which is also, you know, it, it doesn't work only if you want to go internationally, it also works locally. So it's just, you know, it's the creativity, how you're going to use the platform yourself. So. But in Belgium, that may also be exports from Flanders to... <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's true. It's sometimes true. border is a language border, so... Exactly. You be creative, yeah. you know. And, uh, exactly. And it, it, but it, all jokes aside, indeed, one of the good tools, uh, which languages... Uh, because I don't know by heart, uh, Carolina. So you have English, Spanish, and which other language do you support? French, with it? French and German. French and German, okay. So you will cover a big part of the world, uh, maybe in the future to add Chinese or Mandarin, uh, yeah. if there's many of, of, of those people will join their own, uh, communities, yeah. that's to be seen. But otherwise, you cover uh, also that part, and, and the translation quality is pretty good, I have uh, noticed. Um, and, sorry, go ahead. So basically, we use the we collaborate with the company called DeepL uh, uh, com. So they are translate. They do the translations, um, which is uh, also uh, related to uh, learning. So once you can just try it, and I do the just add uh, right now for free. But basically, if you try any language, they are very accurate with the translation in, for example, German, which has totally different. Um, uh, grammar than yep, French, so so that's why we are kind of relied what what they are uh, what languages they use. So so right now there are they have four very well developed, and then we will see what they have next. Okay, good. No more questions from the floor. I'm looking at the chat. I'm looking at the all right at the questions. No. So that means that everything seems to be uh, well. Is there any comment from uh, the speakers, Carolina? Any last remarks from you? Mm, no remarks. It's uh, actually thank you, Commerce and Eric, for having me here and uh, giving a chance to present Connects. And I hope it was useful for all the participants. I'm sure it was. Thank you. Uh, Mary, any specific, specific uh, comments from you on behalf of uh, e-commerce or um, Sophie will do that? No, I just want to thank you for the very enlightening um, webinar. Thank you very much. Okay. And then Sophie, maybe some uh, closing words on behalf of e-commerce? Well, we are uh, very happy uh, to have learned as an uh, important instrument that we can use for all kinds of purposes be it a business eh? and e-commerce and going abroad and whatever the frontier is, whatever the border is. So um, thanks again. And we will uh, dive into it and have a look also on it and see uh, what we can do towards our own community. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, also on my behalf and on behalf of BC, uh, thank you all. Don't hesitate to ask me for a link to sign up on Connect. Uh, I've shared my email address. Uh, which is eti at uh, bc.be uh, and then I hand over to Eleonore who is going to uh, push some buttons to finish this whole thing. Yes, uh, th thank you everyone for uh, being here. So again, Eric, Serdar, Frédéric, Del, everyone. Uh, so I have uh, I have put the um, link to the agenda, to the BC agenda if you want to uh, participate to a lot of other uh, events. So just stick there and uh, see what you like. It's like shopping. You have a lot of things going on right now. So uh, I wish you a very good day. And uh, yes, take care, everyone. Take care. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Bye.